Hello security tube. In this video, we will show you a quick interesting demo of a new tool called Maltigo. So Maltigo allows you to create these uh, visually interactive transforms using which you can actually do a lot of stuff such as uh, you know figure out DNS, IP addresses, even some basic pen testing such as running and map uh, or finding information over Google etc. So we already covered a video on Multigo a couple of days back. So a link should be available on this page itself. So in this video, we'll try and see how we can use Multigo and find out more about a domain name by simply knowing the name of the domain. So let's get started. So we'll go ahead and drag and drop the DNS name uh, part and go ahead and, uh, you know, give the value to be google.com right and now what we want to do is actually go ahead and figure out the ip address so what is actually going to happen is that a dns query will happen so now if you notice we got three ip addresses what this means if you've been following the dns uh, videos which i posted yesterday is that there is some sort of a DNS based load balancing which is happening, right? So we get three IP addresses for google.com. Uh, we can actually go ahead, drag them and rearrange them as we please. Now let's actually go ahead and right click and try and figure out the net block for this IP address. What does this mean? Basically, see this IP address would be part of a net block in an autonomous system, right? So the idea is to be able to figure out what is that range of IP address which has been allocated to this net block. So as we can see, the output is already there. Uh, and it's... We can go ahead now very interestingly. Uh, here is the range. Now we can right click that and figure out the exact AS number itself. So now we see the AS number being displayed. So uh, if you notice very interesting stuff can be done. Uh, so we right now have figured out, uh, you know, exactly from a domain name, what is the IP address? What is the net block? What is the autonomous system? Now let's say we want to run a very quick port scan to figure out what is what services are running on that IP address. So for that, we go ahead, right click, and then uh, click on the Nmap scan. And this will run a very quick scan on the IP address. If you notice in the status window below, uh, it actually says that, you know, port number 80 and 443 are open. So a quick Nmap scan has happened. Also to the right hand side, we can see uh, the value of the port numbers, which are found to be open. So now let's try and do something more interesting. Let's first go ahead and figure out the net blocks for all the three different IP addresses, which resolve to google.com. Right, so let's go ahead and do that. So okay, the range is pretty interesting and let's find it out for the last one as well. Okay, so here we go. So now if you notice, what we're going to try and do is figure out what is actually running on these servers. So, you know, we can almost imagine that probably this entire range might just be dedicated to Google's web servers or probably a farm of servers which are serving, you know, some of the search results. So let's try and see what's out there. So uh, the entire range is interesting. Now let's go ahead and just pick one of these IP addresses uh, and then go ahead, you know, any one of these would actually do. Now let's go ahead, open up our browser and paste this IP address in order to access port 80. Voila. So as we would have imagined, we are now on to the Google home page, right? Basically, it says Google English because, uh, you know, it, it detects that probably, you know, uh, we are somewhere in the US. So, uh, 
Now let's try something interesting. Let's change the IP address ending in 100 and let's change it to 99. Interesting. So even though we did not get this IP address from you know the DNS resolution, still this IP address corresponds to a web server which is serving the Google homepage. Right. So as one can imagine, probably there are a bunch of DNS servers which are ideally load balancing between all these IP addresses and sending clients different IP addresses through DNS. Uh, let's go ahead, try another. Okay, this one works as well. Let's try something which is a little bit further away. Okay, so now if you notice, nothing has come up uh, and probably nothing will come up. So a logical assumption is that probably the web server itself is not running uh, probably there's some sort of firewall because you know we are constantly waiting. Uh, we're not getting a connection terminated or connection refused kind of an error message as well. Uh, so probably these are application servers uh, which may have some sort of a firewalling in place. So once again, nothing is coming out. Uh, so anyway, see the basic idea was actually to take a domain name and uh, you know go ahead and figure out more useful information such as the ip address the autonomous system the entire network and actually see what kind of other interesting services we can find in the same network so in the case of google we found other web servers which are actually serving the google home page and also a couple of other application servers which typically were at least unreachable over the web interface so well that's all for this video there are a lot of interesting things you can do with Maltigo. So I would highly encourage you to download the tool and try it out. They have a free community version. Also, the tool is included in Backtrack 4. Uh, that's where I am using it currently. So anyway, uh, please leave a comment behind. I'd really appreciate that because it will encourage me to make more videos. Uh, that's all for this video. Thank you.